In this video, we will discuss binary operations. A binary operation is a function which accepts as input two elements from one set and outputs a single element, which is also a member of the same set. We've already seen examples of binary operations. For example, the addition of integers. To add the two integers a and b, we take the ordered pair a, b, which is an element of the set z cross z, and we map it to the single element a plus b in z. In terms of a binary operation, this is a function which we denote by plus, which is a function from the set z cross z to z. Another example is the multiplication of integers. To multiply the two integers a and b, we take the ordered pair a, b, which is an element of the set z cross z, and map it to the single element a times b in z. In terms of a binary operation, we can view integer multiplication as the function dot from z cross z to z. To formally define a binary operation, we say that a binary operation dot on a set s is a function dot from s cross s to s. We write the image of the ordered pair a, b as a dot b. The word binary in the term binary operation means that we are combining two input elements to get one output element. As we've just seen, addition, multiplication, as well as subtraction are all binary operations, but we are not limited to just these. We can also define our own binary operations on a set of our choosing. For example, consider the set z mod 4 and the binary operation O plus from z4 cross z4 to z4 with a O plus b equal to the quantity a plus b mod 4. To see how this binary operation works, we can arrange all of the elements in z4 in a table like so. In the upper left corner, we write the symbol for the binary operation that we are considering, which in this case is O+. The numbers written directly beneath the O+, symbol represent the possible values for the input element A, and the numbers written directly to the right of the O+, symbol represent the possible values for the input element B. To fill in the empty values in this table, we read from row to column and apply the binary operation to each element in turn. By applying the binary operation O plus to row zero, column zero, we have zero plus zero mod four is zero. So we fill in this entry with a zero. For row zero, column one, we apply the binary operation and we have zero plus one mod four, which is one. So we fill in this entry with a one. For row 0, column 2, we have 0 plus 2 mod 4, which is 2. So we fill in this entry with a 2. Finally, for row 0, column 3, we have 0 plus 3 mod 4 is 3. So we fill in this entry with a 3. If we continue this process for the remaining entries, we can fill in the remainder of this table, like so. This table shows how the binary operation O plus behaves for every element in Z4. As another example, let T be the set containing the elements A, B, and C, and define the binary operation dot from T cross T to T by the following table. We don't actually have a formula for what dot does, but from the table, we can discern its behavior. Since t contains three elements, the cardinality of t is three. Therefore, we know that the cardinality of the cross product t cross t will be nine. So there will be a total of nine images in the table. Again, reading from row to column and applying the binary operation dot, we can fill in the following images like so. This example demonstrates that binary operations on sets do not necessarily need to be defined by formulas. If we have tables, we can exemplify their behavior 